This is part 20 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss push and pop methods of the JavaScript array object. First, let's look at populating and retrieving elements from an array using a for loop and the array index. Let's create an array. Let's name it myArray. Now, let's use a for loop. Let's initialize this variable i to 0, i less than or equal to 5, i++. plus plus. We are going to use this for loop to initialize this array. So my array of i equals i into 2. So in this array, we are going to store all even numbers starting from 0 till 10. Now let's use another for loop to retrieve elements from the array. And we want to print all these elements on the web form. So let's use the write method of the document object. And we want each number to be printed on a separate line. So let's use HTML break. And finally, let's alert the length of the array. So now when we run this, we should have all the even numbers starting from 0 till 10 printed. And look at the length of the array. It is 6. Now here, we're using the array index to retrieve elements from the array. So when we use array index, it simply returns those elements without removing the elements from the array. That's why the length is 6. Now let's look at push and pop methods. So what is this push method? This method adds new items to the end of the array. This method also changes the length of the array. Pop method removes the last element of an array and returns that element. Just like push method, this pop method also changes the length of an array. So to populate an array, we can either use array index or push method. When we use push method, it is going to add the new item to the end of the array. And to retrieve an item from an array, we can either use array index or pop method pop method removes the last item of an array and returns that element. Whereas when we use the index, it is not going to remove the element from the array. It simply returns that element. Let's look at an example of using this push and pop methods. So here we are using the array index to populate it with elements. Instead of that, let's try and use push method. Now, on the first iteration of this for loop, i value will be 0. 0 into 2 will be 0. So 0 will be added to the end of this array. And at the moment, this is an empty array. So that will be the first element within the array. On the second iteration, i value will be 1. So 1 into 2 will be 2. This number will be added to the end of the array. So 2 will be present after 0. So this process goes on until i value becomes 5. When i value is 5, 5 into 2 is 10. That will be the last element. And at that point, this condition will become false and it will get out of the for loop. So here we are using the push method to add elements to this array. Now, in the second for loop, we are using the array index to retrieve the elements from the array. Instead of that, we can also use the pop method. So what is this pop method going to do? It will actually remove the last element and return that. OK, so let's use the pop method here. And finally, we are printing um, the length of the array. So let's run this and see what output we get. Notice that, first of all, the numbers are printed in reverse order. Why is that? That's because if you look at what pop method does, it removes the last element and returns that element. Okay. Now, the last element that is added to this array is 10. So that's what get returned first. And then 8, 6, 4 goes on until 0. Okay. And look at the length of the array. It is 0. That is because pop method actually removes the element from the array and returns that. That's why after printing 0, finally, we are you know, printing the length property. So at that point, there are no more elements within the array. That's why the length is 0. Now let's look at two more methods, shift and unshift. So first, let's look at unshift method. We know that push method 
adds new items to the end of the array. Now to add new items to the beginning of an array, we use unshift method. Just like push method, unshift method also changes the length of an array. So let's look at an example now. So let's have two elements within this array, 2 comma 3. Now to add an element to the array, we can use push method. So what is this push method going to do? It's going to add an element to the end of the array. So when we pass 4 to this method, this element will be added after element 3. Now if I want to add an element at the beginning of the array, then we use unshift method. My array dot unshift now let's say we want to add element 1 and we want that to be the first element. So this will be added before 2. Now let's print the contents of the array to the web page. And let's also print the length of the array. So now when we run this, we should get 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are the array elements and the array length is 4. So notice that when we use unshift method, it is adding that element to the beginning of the array. And when we use push method, it is adding that element to the end of the array. Now let's look at shift method. Now we know that pop method removes the last element and returns that element. Now if we want to remove and return the first element of an array, that's when we use shift method. Just like pop method, shift method also changes the length of the array. And here we have an example. So let's look at that in action. So let's have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 within this array. Now when we use pop method, what is this going to do? It's going to remove and return the last element of the array. So let's create a variable. Let's name it last element. And let's actually write that to the document. So last element equals Now, this pop method is going to remove and return the last element, that is 5. Now, if we want to get the first element of the array, then we can use shift method. So let's actually copy those two lines. And let's name this variable first element. And instead of using pop method, let's use shift method. So first element equals... first element. Now let's print the ed array elements and then the length of the array. So notice that last element within the array is 5, first element is 1. Those elements are removed and returned. Hence within the array we only have 2, 3, 4 and array length is 3. Thank you for listening and have a great day.